All right, I have been waiting for this since the last time, the last GDQ, and I, when I saw this on the schedule, I got really excited. So please give all of your excitement and energy. Here we go, SMB3 Co-op, Mitch Florabauer and Graham Poomer. Take it away, have fun. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, y'all? I'm Grand Pooh Bear. Mitch Flower Power. Yeah. Um, so the last time you saw us play this game, <laughs> we were going against each other, and it, things got a little wild, I would say. Um, since then, we've we've kissed, we've made up, and uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so this, this time we decided instead of racing against each other, let's let's play with each other this time. Yeah, yeah. I need a teammate now. Yes, I uh, need a teammate. Yes. So this is uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do SMB3 co-op. I'm gonna be Mario. Mitch is gonna be Luigi. Yeah, Luigi. And uh, this has never been done in a GDQ before. Um, in fact, before Except for 100%. Yeah, 100% has been done, but yeah. not co-op warpless. Yeah. Um, and, and in fact, it had never been done. We couldn't find anyone who. Oh no, Sky did it actually. We we copied Sky for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sky had one. So um, yeah, we're we're really pumped to do it. And um, it's a little on the complicated side. We have to be routing a lot while we're yeah. while we're playing. So yeah. there's going to be some times where we're going to be talking amongst each other, just kind of figuring out what we're doing. Yep. And uh, with that being said, they put the con for everyone worried, they put the console on a table this time, <laughs> away from my feet. And, uh, and if I do break it, well, it's breaking my own run, too. This they time, so. put it in front of me, yep. so payback, right? All right, all right. Let's, uh, let's make this happen. Help me count it down, baby. Three, two, one, go! Woo! Go, Mario. We love Woo! you. All right, we're going to we work. I was talking I should do the safe strat right here, but... Forget it. Woo! Whoa! That was a button input got eaten <laughs> right there. I was. <laughs> this is NES. It does lag. Yeah, it, and that does happen in Mario 3. If you ever see good players die, it's because a button got eaten. That's the only reason we ever die. I, see, I just blame TVs. Yeah. I just blame the TV I'm playing on. I, so I'd be pretty weird. good after that. I'll blame Darkman's controller he gave me. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so the first thing you're going to notice about this compared to like a regular run is the Mario and Luigi kind of like start screen. <laughs> there it is again. Yeah, there was another one. Um, the Mario and Luigi, I have Dark Man's like eyeballing me right now in the background. <laughs> um, but that's we made it. We made it through our first levels. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. Woo! Um, yeah, but these... Uh, the transitions with this uh, Mario and Luigi start screen, that's actually going to be add a significant amount of time uh, compared to like a one player warpless run. Oh, I got, kind of got nervous there. Dude, Dark Man, this controller is whack, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been doing? What games have you been playing with this? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that, went, that went okay, though. So there's a lot of stages we have to do where we don't have power-ups where we normally would, so it makes things a little difficult. 1-5, normally you want to have the leaf in Warpless, but I'm going to have to go small Mario. Different strats, right? Mm -hmm. Whee! Yeah, and that's a lot of it. And, and um, Mitch is a bit more experienced at this game than me, or AKA better. Um, so... Oh! Tunnel, baby! Mm. <laughs> Can we get that MFP tunnel spam, please? I cannot believe you just did that. <laughs> I got the frame perfect one, too. The ceiling actually pushed me down a little bit. Wow. Um, yeah, if he would have missed that, we would have been really screwed up. So I'm really glad he hit that. Yeah, you told me not to go for it. Yeah. Whoops. Um, so I'm actually going to do kind of the baby strut here. Oh, Close. didn't get it. So that hole actually causes you to sometimes like oh lose gosh. your P speed. Oh, wait. Okay. You should still be all right. Okay. Yeah, I was super nervous there. <laughs> <laughs> As Darkman reminded me, if you don't bring your own controller, you get what you get. <laughs> oh, man. You're doing all the hard levels. I feel like I got it yeah. you know, pretty easy right now. Just took some baby strat. All right, first HB down. Yeah, and the Hammer Brothers are going to play a part. Um, so the real big difference here is we kind of try to follow the, the normal Warpless route because it is the fastest route. Um, but our items are going to be really kind of weird and screwed up. And so we have to make sure 
whoever has the right items is, is in the right level mm -hmm. at the right time. Yeah, and, and that can constantly change due mm -hmm. to the Hammer Brothers moving. We, we don't know where they're going to move. We don't know how they're going to move. Uh, so we just got to kind of play it by ear and, you know, if he's got all the P-Wings, what do I do when I get to a level I need a P-Wing, right? So uh, we got to just kind of plan that as we go. Yeah. And it, uh, we're it, big boys. I think we can do it. Yeah, yeah. So you will see, uh, especially starting World Three, is when we're gonna have to to do some on the fly routing, essentially. And, and you saw some of that with uh, Oats and Goats and Andy earlier, um, and the search for the boots, the the long quest for the boots. But uh, <laughs> it won't be. It maybe not be quite as complicated as that. But uh, for us simple SMB three guys. It's, it's super hard. <laughs> we do have to do one intentional battle zone in World 3 because of the way the bridges work. Oh, I missed one. Okay. There we fine. go. We got it. We got it. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Made it through the hardest world. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's, world 1's rough, man. World 1 is... is the hardest world in SMB3, and it's kind of funny, and because when you watch SMB3 runners, you're like, why are they never getting out of World 1? It's like, <laughs> dude, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah. It's, There's it's, such like a level that you have to be at to like feel comfortable leaving, or yeah. else you're just losing time constantly. Yeah, it, yeah because because like World 1 is, they're all like uh, very intro levels, they throw a lot of um, things at you constantly, so. We have to watch button mashing too. If I mash right now, we might get forced into a zone, so I gotta stay away. <laughs> or do I? <laughs> well, we will be doing a, some fights later. No lagless. The beauty about this run is, is Nicely that, done, nicely done. Yeah. We get time to kick it, you know? Yeah, you get breaks in between, exactly. right? Yeah. So the person who beats the previous world gets to do the first level of the next world, so... Ha ha ha, world seven. <laughs> like four auto-scrollers. Yeah. Oh. oh, nice bump. Sound of success. Yeah, and as you see, I'm fully powered up right now. Yeah, I got to get this mushroom. Yeah, Mitch, is, Mitch uh, has to, to do a lot more in small Mario, actually, in this run. So um, him being uh, much more experienced, a.k.a. better, uh, we're going we're gonna to leave him some of those small Mario strats. Yo, Sky, how you doing over there? I'm doing well. I was going to ask you about that battle mode thing, but real quick, we got some love from both of your communities. We have 50 bucks from Tampa. Hey, hey Tampa. Who says, hi, my cute boys. I expect <laughs> great things from you during this run. World record as a minimum. Make my task hard proud. Love, Tampa. And Tampa will take your run after and point out everything that didn't go quite right. <laughs> of though. course he's going. You know, he's watching. Yeah, he's probably disappointed in, in my World 1 strats I took. Um, you know what's funny, actually? I want to talk about the world record here in this particular category because... Uh, you know, Mitch flew out. When we knew we were going to run this, we hadn't done it together, actually. We actually submitted solo runs um, as, like, <laughs> our video. And we hadn't actually done co-op before. Yeah, legitimate runs, like, together in yeah. the same rooms kind of thing. So Mitch flew out to my house, and we had a, a sleepover. Yeah, sleepovers. Uh, 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 yeah. We had our jammy jams we and everything. jammy jams. <laughs> and we practiced really hard, and, and we got a really good time. We actually broke Sky's record that she had before. Sorry, Sky. Sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry. Um... And, and I was, like, feeling really good about that. I was like, yeah, I'm going to head into GDQ, the world record holder in this category. But then Mitch, uh, being the uh, the man that he is, you know, trying to drive dimes, times down. Oh, my God. Flew out another Mario 3 player to his house, <laughs> and then they beat our time. So right now, Mitch and Haxor is the first time, and me and Mitch is the second time. <laughs> so I really need this to go well, because I want to regain my championship. You know? Whoops. Yeah. Oh, I died. He sandbagged me on that. You <laughs> I swear, know? I swear. <laughs> okay, so we'll figure out who gets the hammer mm -hmm. pretty close. It's looking like I'm going to have to go down to do level five, which I'm pretty cool with. Yeah, I'd rather do level five than level four right. in a marathon setting. Yeah. Uh, level four is a little bit faster, but not fast enough where it's worth like going around the hammer, brother. Yeah. It's also not fast enough to the point where, like, it, it's a little bit more stressful. Exactly. Little, like, yeah, level four is significantly harder. It's very, very slightly faster. So we got kind of bad RNG. I'm still going to, down to do five anyways. Let's get right. it over with. Yeah. And besides, I have to be at the pyramid anyways by the time, you know, whatever works. Yeah, as long as he doesn't take two movements up and left, we should be. It shouldn't cost us anything. Oh, wow. Okay. Alrighty then. 
You know, I was asking y'all about versus mode before, so another friend of ours wanted to say something about it. We have 50 bucks from Tina Hacks. Hey, Tina. Hey, Tina. Hey, Tina. Says, yo, Mitch and Pooh had to donate during this run. Best of luck to you both. Looking forward to the uh, best duo the taking box. back world record. Go do the music box. Donation goes to whoever wins the next versus mode. I would agree. That's pretty well, important. Well, okay, so that, <laughs> that actually is already predetermined. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to win, so it's... Yeah. But if but we might like we maybe we'll fight before Bowser to see who gets to kill Bowser. Please something. don't tell me he just did what I didn't want him to. Oh no. my! <laughs> that's okay. It is okay. It is okay because you're gonna do the pyramid as long as I beat the world, yeah. and that's why I had you do the uh, music box. So you get the hammer in World Three, yep. and we battle after the fortress. Well, I have to, I have to battle us. Yeah, yeah. Then then I win. Bridge closed. Assuming the HB does nothing crazy. Fingers crossed. So right here, you see I'm going to get frame-perfect movements on that overworld map. Whenever the screen scrolls, you can just hold where you're going. It's actually a really significant time save. Um, a thing that really separates, I'd say, like the A-tier players from like me, which I consider myself like an A- minus or B-tier player at this game, is um, overworld movement, honestly. like That's something that I just refuse to practice because it's boring, and it's something that Karuba reminds me is the thing that's keeping me from getting those times. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's very it, it, important. I mean, it's hard to practice, it right? Is hard. And you're you're kind of always practicing it. I mean, in between every level, I mean, you're still doing it. But at the same time, yeah, it's, it's like, what are you supposed to do? Safe state? Like, so at a, like at a long movement? I mean, how are we supposed yeah. to do this, right? Yeah. So anytime you can take advantage of the screen scroll, it's it's really nice. All right. So I'm finally gonna get Fire Flower. Thank you. And uh, I'm gonna be Mario. Mm -hmm. No more Luigi. It's very exciting. Yeah, this, and this is where it gets a little, it's gonna get a little confusing for those who are watching at home because Mario and Luigi, when they have firepower, look exactly the same. Have you played the two player SMB1 hack yet? The one that just came out? Or I fan, saw it, fan I games? saw like, it, yeah, I haven't, yeah, I haven't played it. Okay, so when Luigi turns fire in that, he looks like Mario, but then when Mario <laughs> turns fire in that, He's Burgundy Fire Mario, <laughs> and it's so it's so hard to tell who's who at that point. You just kind of like give up. You're like, you know what? <laughs> so they both confusing. have fire. Yeah, it's so confusing. You just gotta kind of like link them together and just run. Have you played Sky? The versus mode. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, no not the versus mode. Like the new two-player SMB one. Mm, no, not quite yet. No. I, I don't know what that would do for me and Off. If yeah, play you, I was going to say, you and Off, that's a good date night right there, you know? Like, Normally I'd go well, for fire kills here, but I, I don't think I'm going to go for the fire kill this but, time. I was in a weird position. By that definition, so was I assembling I can't furniture when you put it that way, <laughs> but, you know. Have you played it? What's that? The... Never mind. Well, that's a mom. <laughs> Dude, come on that's now. A, that's a no. That's a no of it. No. Um. <laughs> The two-player SMB1 thing, you know, like I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not romantically involved like you all. <laughs> um, I'm. Uh, What's wrong with loving Mario? <laughs> I don't have any. If loving, if loving Mario is wrong, I don't want to be right. Exactly. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you for being on the couch today. Yeah, we appreciate it. I mean, I can't have a big old open couch. Get, put no. those legs back up, man. You, you, you're not looking comfortable enough. Right? Actually, actually, someone told me to I'm take proof. Of, <laughs> someone told me to take proof that the console is actually safe. <laughs> so I'm actually going to take a picture real quick here. Not for long. <laughs> I was close. I almost actually kicked it. I gotta watch it. All right. Woo. Oh, frame perfect jump right there, ladies and gentlemen. Good clap for that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> you're welcome, Tompa. There you go. Please clap. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, so 3-2 is one of the most frustrating stages, I'd say, so... Yeah, Mitch, uh, Mitch strategically made sure I played it. <laughs> get that, get the music box, get the music box. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I got the hammer in this world, so you got to get the hammer, yeah. or last world, so you got to get the hammer in this yeah, world. Yeah, and as you see, like, one thing that's really important in a co-op run is kind of having, like, direction, you know what I mean? So we're kind of going to have Mitch lead that a lot of the ways. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. I'm just going to do that. Okay, this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. <laughs> we did it. It was so perfect until that one point. I had a really good, really good level, and I just didn't hold the button. <laughs> So unforgiving. I mean, you did the hard part perfect, and then this one <laughs> random spot, you're just trying to get up. 
Oh, we didn't get Runaway Bro yet. Yeah, I obviously ate my inputs. That's what happened. There we go. You like that? Yeah, getting past these two levels in uh, World 3 here is going to make us a lot more comfortable, too. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, we're good. So when you're in the water with P-Speed, the game actually thinks you're still kind of in the air, so you can you can mess up. Like, your P-Speed jumps land in the water, you still keep your P-Speed as, as, you, as long as you do some good jumps after, you're pretty good. All right, HBs. Yeah, so uh, like like uh, Sky and everyone was talking about, we, there's this thing in SMB3 called uh, Battle Mode, and it's really, really awesome. First of all, if you've never played SMB3 co-op, uh, do it right now, go get your friend, and then just press the A button on the screen next to them, and you guys enter this like mini game battle mode. And it's a lot like the original, like, the original yeah, Mario, Mario Brothers mode. arcade, and they have some <coughs> couple extra mini games. Uh, but the winner gets to move on. So in theory, you could just have like Mario play the whole game. Yeah, just and, screw your buddy over. Yeah, um, and we're gonna actually use that here to our advantage. Okay, so what I'm gonna I'm gonna do it now mm -hmm. because you can you can still get the hammer. I already have the hammer. I'm gonna, bump, I'm gonna bop him. Ooh, yeah, yeah, he's gonna bop me to take my card away, and then he's going to die. Yeah. And that, that'll save time later from getting the one-up animation from getting three cards. It's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. So this doesn't matter. This is okay as long as it, it's just a star. It's, yeah. it's okay for me to get this. Yeah. Um, and then so uh, we do this because I need to cross the bridge with the cloud because I beat the world. But unfortunately, he's going to have to take some deaths because there's nothing left for him to do in the world after <laughs> this. Yeah, so um, this, is, this is where it gets really funny, yeah. <laughs> We have strategic deaths, though. The first death is on the auto-scroller, the second one, and third one is in level five. Yeah. Yeah, so right here, I'm going to get this hammer. We're going to use that later. World four. Yeah, both of us need to have a hammer, and that's what we've been That's what we've been making sure we have. Yes, I know, Luigi. Let's go. Preemptive strikes. I am so glad I switched to CRT. Yeah, Mitch, so if you guys have been following the career of Mitch Flower Power <laughs> and all his world records, it, one thing you didn't know is that he's been playing on LCD screens and, like, flat screens the whole time. Probably about, yeah, five or six years Which now. is not something you do with, like, classic games at all um, because they have massive amounts of input lag. Okay, so right here we're going to go into this auto-scroll. You can't, it's, this auto-scroll is super long, so I'm going to die. So right now the, the bridge is open. You can see once he comes out, the bridge is open, so you can't cross it, right? So the person with the cloud needs to cross, and that's why he's dying. Like you have, to, you have to manipulate the game, and we do this to skip, skip some, some levels here, mm -hmm. some levels on the go. But now this does put a lot of pressure on Mitch here because if he gets eaten by Boss Bass, we are not in a good spot. I know. Get out of here, crowd control. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right, Mitch. I don't have access to sending you boss passes right now. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. <laughs> oh, almost. Yo, if you get the three flowers, I man. know. I'm not going to turn back. I'm going to go for it. Just... <laughs> so now his, his next death is actually on level five because he can die right away from an electro. I the, or what, what is it? Electro? Yeah, right there. Electro. Yeah. So this one, we just jump down there. Strategic death. I, I swear, I, I don't have stats on this, but I'm pretty sure I've killed more of my character than anyone else in GDQ history between Kaizo games and now this. Like, I'm pretty <laughs> sure I have more deaths than anyone in GDQ history. I want to know the death count. I know. I, I do want to get stats on that one day. Ah. Uh, oh, little eight shame. Oh, no. And then I get the quest. Yeah. Oh, no lag's going to happen at all. <laughs> <laughs> you got to love NES for that. <laughs> We're good, though. We're good. We're good. Sorry, Tampa. I love, I I love that say. animation. Leg frames. You're going to hear from Tampa about that one later. All right, here we go. No three cards. Yep, and then uh, if you guys were like, man, I really want to see Pooh play a level, well, guess <laughs> what? Not going to happen. <laughs> we're going to wait a little bit. And look at these bumps. <laughs> Those bumps are insane. All right. Nice. All right, we have, we have time for, for some stuff. Yeah, 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 definitely. We have a very special donation from Ooh. the Yeti. $2,500 from the Yeti. And they say, hey, all, Yeti here. We are glued to the screen. <laughs> Big John got us all super comfy just in time for this amazing don't break the console co-op. 
Here's hoping we get to wrap this up with a special 120 star. Let's go. Thank you, Yeti. And speaking of which, right now, our current total is 10,338 out of 12,000. We're very close. Let's keep it going. For 120 star? Yeah. Easy. Oh, man, I want to see 120 star. Oh, yeah, me too. 70 stars is just not enough of cheese. Like, he's such a good looking dude, he deserves that extra 40 minutes on stage. There are a lot of relationships going on in the Mario man. community, man. <laughs> no. Okay, no, legit, legit. I my, want some loving, too. Yeah, my wife has, like, a mad crush on cheese. Like, <sighs> She loves him. <laughs> yeah, I can say babe, too. <laughs> What's up, babe? Gina's probably, like, blushing at home right now watching. <laughs> I'm just shooting fireballs. Yeah. I, I'm just... <laughs> we have $5 from Mad Night Pash that says, Pooh was framed. How does he poo stomp if he has no legs? That's right? what I've been $50 from Anonymous, Skyville, Big John, Mitch and yeah. Pooh, all on an SMB3 run, Speedrunner Heaven. Woo! Whee! All right, three levels <coughs> in. Three levels in. Go yeah, pretty three worlds, so yeah. yeah. Three worlds, Okay, yeah. remember, whoever uses the hammer doesn't get the cloud. If everything goes good, I should be using the hammer. So well, you I, never might know because have to, I might also have to use the music box. Well, no, if the cloud comes past level... Three, three and you do the cloud earlier then I have to I have to use the hammer right, oh, you're right. so it's like I said whoever uses the hammer I got you doesn't get the cloud I'm picking up what you're putting down yeah so right now we're out of like it's out of our control a little bit but we're gonna we're gonna play it by ear and see how it goes we got those battle zones right mm-hmm mm-hmm <laughs> mm-hmm uh, four, four one's my favorite level this, this is the one level where I'm like, mm, I do this one right. <laughs> you do it better than me. I'm not doing that straight. The right. only one. <laughs> Luckily, it's only like 0.9 seconds slower, so I, yeah. I take them where I can. All right, so uh, we'll see, right? Because if he goes down to the Mushroom House after you leave level two, then, yeah, you got to use the hammer. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. No, I wanted that. No, I'm get. I'm get it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's okay. <laughs> I was like, the bottom plant came back. Like, what's up with that? Oh my God, that fish. All right, we made it. Wait. Oh, it's okay. Woo! All right, we made it. Yeah, it's small Mario, scary. Sometimes. Small. Well, yeah, and I need. I need big Mario in case I have to play four three. If I didn't, if the Hammer Brother would have moved left, it would have been not so as here's, good. But there we go. Okay, so. Sure, not got it. So now it doesn't matter who uses the hammers as long as we avoid the that hammer brother. Oh. Hold on, I gotta figure this out. The hammer brother or the the, the cloud the, the cloud is gonna be in the way of the person who uses yeah, the hammer right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. And so the person who uses the hammer doesn't get the cloud. So you so you You have to box. use the hammer. No no no, you have to use the hammer, then we have to go into battle and I win. Okay, I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah. Then he moves. See like, Gotcha coach. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Ink is just cute. Well, no, I mean, and that's really the key. Like, uh, you know, one thing we were when we were doing this at first, like we, you know, we'd have different ideas, and I think one of the things that's really important in a co-op run is just like, you know, yeah, so put one person hammer, in charge. Battle me. Yeah, put one person in charge. Um, yeah, oh, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna bop let me, you. No, me bop you, and I'll get it. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, five up. Yeah, got it. <laughs> <laughs> so what that did is that took away both of our cards right there, so we won't. Neither one of us will have to go through another animation. Yeah, no cutscene. Animation. Actually, saves us about six seconds. You know, minus our flip flop in there, but you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. Yeah, that's casual flip flop. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Okay, so we're on track. We're on track. So I have to beat World Five now because I have the cloud. Leave me World Four or Level Four. Ah, I'm sorry. Oh man, this screen's like. So my TV at home, I can't see Mario at the top of that. <laughs> <laughs> but in this, so this screen's better. Yeah, this TV's like so much better than the one I have at home. Stay away, Link Two. Get out of here. Nice, we made it. We made yep. it. 
Right now, we're not doing too bad. No, it's no good. we're not sitting on the map being like, what do we do, right? Yeah. That's something we were worried about, especially with the interesting Hammer Brother movement we've gotten so far. Okay, so this is the star, unfortunately, but I mean, what are we going to do? And we'll want to have the other player, another player, get the P Wing. So I'm going to go get the P Wing right now. Isn't this the best world, guys? This is World 4 the best? World 4 is my favorite to speedrun, and it's my favorite in the casual play. Right. When I was a kid, yeah. When I was a kid, what I used to do is I'd get the three warp whistles. <laughs> I'd warp. <laughs> I can see where you can. <laughs> I'd warp to four. I'd beat four. I'd play five up to the clouds. And then I'd skip all the way to eight. Because I was scared of World 7. Oh, as a come kid. on. Oh, this I'm, is I'm fine. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, we made it. We made it. We made it. This is fine. I'm taking my time. I'm taking my time here. Like I was nervous. I, I got time here. <laughs> <laughs> Get me out of here. I'm yeah. out. I'm out. Normally you run underneath that guy. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Fun game. All right. So you get you get Fire Flower back yeah. here, which is good. Yeah. So normally there's a P speed strat, but we're gonna take this time to get Fire Flower, get the opportunity. Um, there's not a lot of fire flower in five, so you want to you want to take it while you have the chance. And fire makes the game significantly faster and easier. Yeah. It's not a huge loss because, as you see, you get the fire kill too. So. so there's something weird with the bosses in this game. You can like like the Koopa kids. You can actually jump directly on their head, and sometimes you go right through them and take damage, and it's completely out of your control. So I really hope that doesn't happen to me right now. Yeah, and this boss is very <laughs> notorious for it. Yeah, because I don't have fire, right? So let's hope I don't go right through him. Come on, Nintendo. Come on. Yeah, and you can't get fire in this um, quick level, I want to call it. Hey, man, if you got some donations, this is a really good time. I was going to ask if you were going to do a <laughs> selfie first, considering. Oh, we could read the paper. We could we could <laughs> order a pizza. Honestly, honestly, we could do a wrong warp run. Like, I could do a wrong warp run in the time it's going to take to finish this. Like, oh, pretty close. Even... Pretty we close. We should have scheduled that. That would have been a really good thing to do. That would have been funny. Well, we scheduled the newspapers and the selfie, but... Yeah, that would have been funny. All right, I got a couple donations while we're Let's waiting out this airship. Uh, we have $5 from Wolfman. He says, love seeing Mitch, Pooh Bear, and John at the same time. Woo! Uh, $100 from Dr. Ill that says, good luck to the any percent worthless world record holder, Mitch Flower Power, and the TwitchCon Jenga oh, champion, pizza. Grand Pooh Bear. Oh, oh, yeah, I did win Jenga at TwitchCon. Oh, my, oh, perfect. Thin crust, too. Mm. Well, you got enough to share with everyone here? Mm. <laughs> Pooh, Pooh. <laughs> Pick me up, man. Oh. Uh, what, about, what about Big John? We're forgetting about Big John back here. Give him, give him some pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. You can't forget about Big John. Donkashin. <laughs> also, too, on the note of donations, we are under $1,000 away from the SM64120 star. That's right. I mean, charity's good, but let's face it, let's do it for Pooh's wife, if anything. We'd like yep, to right? see the 120 star run. Oh, yeah, she definitely wants some more cheese in there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> she pulls the sup, sup guy on that one. <laughs> Five dollars from Anonymous. Console on a table this time. Just need a more powerful poo stomp. I can kick it. I got it. No. Wow. I got, we, my, I got my eye on those things. We, we, we were, I was talking when we got here. We should have. I should have asked like Tompa or someone to make us uh, a version that it froze for a couple minutes. Just. Oh my gosh. Away. Okay. Yeah, that was close. Nice job. Oh. The video game worked like it's supposed to. I'm so happy. Yeah, so World 5 is uh, pretty famous because it has the tower. Um, and the tower is very interesting because it's the only level that doesn't, what do I want to call it? Like, doesn't disappear after you beat it. And yeah, you can actually go back down and keep repeating it. So we actually both have to play the tower. And that's another one of those significant time losses here in the co-op run versus the solo run. In uh, in five one, the level I'm going to do right now, if you guys keep, a, keep an eye on the P meter, I'm going to try and manipulate it to get uh, P speed in the level where you normally don't. Uh, it's extremely difficult, and I have to manipulate the P-meter. And uh, if you don't see a build, I didn't get it, but uh, we'll, see it. we'll see how it goes. Just keep an eye on the P-meter. Ah, mm. OK, I can't get it. I got to land in that little nook there. Like, um, 
as early as possible. So yeah. landing landing on that one block is what caused me to not even get a chance to try it. So yeah, that's how hard it is. It's it's it's. I don't want to say pixel perfect, but perfect, but it's precise. Pixel precise. E extremely. Dude. Yeah. Extremely. Oh. Yeah. yeah. They just flipped. Yeah. No. No. You're forced to do that. <laughs> the end. Oh. Okay. I see. Do, 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 do. They put that in Odyssey too. That that music. Yeah. This is the level where I where I would have probably grabbed Fire Flower. It's a little slower, but. Oh, I just I whisked out right there. <laughs> you I had it. it. You I had, had it. it. I whisked out. I thought I was hitting for some reason. Yeah, Mitch is going to have to wait a... Whew, I don't know when you're getting Fire Flower next time. Maybe so. if I do 5-7. Yeah, maybe the fort. Yeah, we just have to remember, I have to beat this world. Yeah. Because when we enter World 6, you need to use the hammer right away, right? And I'm the only... Yeah, so we'll see how that goes. All right, I get the... They switch... Okay, they switched again. So the P-Wing's on the bottom. We don't really want the Hammer Brother on the top. He's just the star. Heck that guy, right? We just want the P wing. Mm -hmm. But so far right now, we really don't have a choice which one we get. You can put him to sleep, but the the Twisty Castle, right? You get you get an extra turn after the Twisty Castle, which means the music box is useless. It doesn't it's not gonna do anything for us. Wee. Ah. So you want to jump on him as early as possible, right? You want to get this orb as quickly as you can. Yeah, and it, it's kind of, you jump for the orbs, but you sit for the wands. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason being is that after the wand, you get the wand. You, that's, what are these Hammer Brothers doing here, man? Yeah, remember, don't take the pipe trans. Yeah, oh, bit, <laughs> you almost <laughs> I opened up the bridge for you and everything. Thanks, man. So I don't have a P-Wing, which is good. This kind of actually worked out. Yeah, because you need the P-Wing. I, yeah. I need a P-Wing, yeah, wow. yeah, definitely. <laughs> What's it like with fire? It's been a fun run, man. I'm it's so been a lot awesome. more relaxed. <laughs> Better than small Mario. Yeah. All right, so I'll get my P-Wing here. Yeah, it's cool. We both have to do the Twisty Castle, and they kind of treat it like worlds, right? Like, once you beat the Twisty Castle right now, you get to do another level after. So it counts as, like, a pipe transition almost, not even a level. Yeah. Very strange. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it took us a little bit because we were using the hammer box when we first started doing this, but then we realized it's kind of worthless with the Twisty Castle. Very nice, very nice. So there's always that hope that you keep P-Speed throughout the entire Twisty Castle. And what makes it hard is that you, you keep going through pipe transitions, so you have to do pipe transitions perfectly. Right, get it. And then you have to keep going left and right. So it's, you know what I mean? Like you have to keep going left and right and up and down, and it's just yeah. very hard, very yeah. hard. And everyone always is like, oh, going left in Mario is not easy. But I always compare it to, like, if you skateboard or snowboard or something, it's kind of like riding Switch. Switch. Yeah. It's you know, Nolly, Goofy, yeah. you know, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, so it's it's definitely a, a, a very different thing, just because we're so used to going right all the time. All the time. That's all we ever did. Yeah. Get it, right? Ah. Uh. <laughs> This level is always nerve-wracking. Nice. Very good, very good. You, did you not do a full, ju full jump there? No. I didn't think you did it, yeah. Because mm -mm. you were far on the on the wooden platform. Oh. I don't want to do that level. That's why I'm Luigi. I'm not going to lie. That's exactly <laughs> the entire reason. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny how we kind of decided it. It was like, I didn't want to do 1-5 small. And that was pretty much it. <laughs> like I was like, all right, well, you're Luigi, so... Yeah. I mean, I'm always Mario, and that's that's the real reason why I pick Luigi is because, you know, I always get to play as Mario. I kind of want to just, you know, different color. You know? And you were Luigi with crew when you guys exactly. did this all the way back in, what, 2014? 2014, yeah, 2014 you did the 100% SMB3 co-op at GDQ. And now here we are, 2018, four years later. Keep going. Doing it again. I should really stop playing this game. You know, what do you, what do you think? Should I? <laughs> yeah. SMB3 is weird because it. I think I think everyone that runs SMB3 always thinks like, man, I should stop playing this game, but it's hard. You can't. You it's can't. Hard. Yeah, because you can never get a perfect. You're making almost coin thing. ship. Almost coin. <laughs> you can never get a perfect run because there's so much RNG in it. So you always feel like, I can save more. You know what I mean? Come on now. Come on, game. You can get that back real quick. I'll get it right here. Yeah. Whip. Still no coin ship, which is good. No. I mean, we don't need this hammer, brother, but uh, coin ship still sucks. We can actually use them uh, if we're not aligned. 
Like, if you're ready to beat the world, we can actually yeah, I got you. use them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I would have reminded the crowd about the coin ship. I don't know if you remember that 100% run a few years ago, but people started donating for that, so... A Cujo, yeah, a Cujo. Got... Cujo oh, oh, right through! Cheater. What is going on here? Thank you, Mario3. So, for anyone who didn't know what happened right there, he went right through the block. <laughs> There's nothing that stopped him. Right through it. <laughs> Walls are meaningless. <laughs> That was so weird. <laughs> I kept peace speed. I don't even know how that happened. <laughs> Who has the cloud right now? I do. I do. Okay, Remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're good. You're good. Yeah. You're good. Oh, this is going to line up perfectly. Pick my mic. Uh, so the ceiling can actually damage you, so you don't want to jump too high. There's lava in the ceiling. There's ragu above me. You know, I always wonder how much Bowser paid to get that installed. You know right? I mean? Like, it's it's definitely, that's definitely a, a one percenter thing that you get in your house. You know what I mean? You you got to have some dough if you're getting a lava ceiling. The technology in the Mushroom Kingdom, too. I mean, I, I didn't think they were there yet. You have wooden flying ships and lava <laughs> ceilings. And, and cannonballs that shoot at a very slow rate. <laughs> Shout out to Oglib who thinks this is the easiest stage in the game. I know. <sighs> the instant oh. karma. Oh, stop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, I got to do this for Oglib. You just hate to see that happen. <laughs> you hate to see that happen. <laughs> it's like he like was over my shoulder. He's easiest stage in the game. <laughs> Look at my items. <laughs> I you got have a lot, lot of items. I got a lot of items there. Yeah, this is this is uh definitely my favorite part of this run is all the chill time I get during these uh, auto scrollers here. A lot of chill time. No yeah. leisurely reading again. Where's your Where's your newspaper? Nothing. I got a Red Bull I can drink here. Oh, okay. What What does that say? <laughs> you, you want me to read the ingredients on it? No. <laughs> I mean, we need something to do on these airships. Here, let me let me read one donation first, all right? Mm -hmm. uh, we have a twenty-five dollar uh, from Olympus who says for Pooh's wife. Let's see that one twenty star. And again, we are getting very close. We're at eleven seven four eight out of twelve thousand. All right, now if you want to read your label, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really want to see Cheese run one twenty. Like seventy's awesome. Don't get me wrong, but there's so many cool tricks. Yeah. yeah, you get the full experience with yeah. 120. You get it all. Yeah, you get so many cool tricks. Beep. I love his continuous. Have you seen the continuous? Mm -hmm. The 120? Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. Yeah, it is really cool. Yeah. Finally, no cutscenes. They're like auto scrollers. Nobody. I, I'm like such a speedrun nerd. I like talk about everyone's runs I want to see all the time, you know? <laughs> Ooh, nice that was drive. An interesting buddy. move by him. So like an ideal pattern for that, and it's very hard to get in co-op. He just kind of like runs into the little ledge, but he jumped first, so. Yeah, you have to get to the castle really fast if you want to get the, the optimal mm -hmm. boss pattern. It's too complicated. It's, it's so annoying. It's so hard to explain yeah. boss patterns, um, but we, can't, we do have a way to kind of control which boss pattern we get, but it, it takes really good overworld movements and you never screwing up, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I hate this fortress so much. Yeah, so and I'm, I'm not gonna get, do anything other than what I normally do, and it might cause, you know, who knows? But <laughs> oh, I, I hate this. Fortress. Yeah. So going back to World Four, when I use my hammer, right now we're going to. This is why. Yeah. This is why we set up World Four. Yeah. Yeah. This is why we split hammers. Oh no! You have to do it. We. Yeah. It's me. <laughs> Sorry, but. Yeah. I get the card game too. <laughs> Our points here are not are not cooperating. <laughs> so th this Can is I get out? No. this is what makes the like co-op warpless really fun is that not only are you playing with someone but it's constantly changing. So we're constantly working together trying to figure out what we want to do. And I I don't know I think that's really fun. I do too. Do the shame if you have to. Uh well now I'm getting this. Yes! Oh, nice clip. Woo! Clip. 
That's a lot scarier than it looks. Yeah. The whole thing is just so nerve-wracking. Yeah, this level's rough. Everything's so precise time-based, right? You miss the elevator, you can't do it. You miss the damage boost, you can't do it. You miss the star. Yeah. Nice, if you go nice. past the door, you know, if you don't get peace, but yeah, you're, it's, it's very hard. And this, this next level, too, 6-4, uh, you're supposed to be small, small Mario, so hopefully I don't uh, frig it up too much there. Uh, no, not going for P-Speed. Nice job. So it's this part right... Yeah, this part right here being Big Mario is awkward. I would... oh, hey. Let me out, let me out! Uh, I'm up, I'm up! Okay, okay, <laughs> I made it, I made it! <laughs> Alright, so just one quick thing here. Chad asked for it, Pooh's wife asked for it. We have met the SM64120 star! Thank Whee! you, everybody! Thank you! Nice, so you get to do, you have a P-Wing, I'm, yeah. I got two. Oh, I think our items are perfect. Yeah, actually, I think they're lining up really great. Yeah, uh, and, and that's awesome. That's going to be such a great way to end GDQX. I'm really excited that we got to come to TwitchCon and kind of show off all our other skills. You know, there's there's so many events here that didn't involve speedrunning. Speedrunning is such a huge part of Twitch. And, um, yeah, I'm glad this is happening. Yeah, I'm really glad. Community. Yeah, so I'm really glad. Thanks to TwitchCon for bringing us out here, you know. This is perfect, too, because I have the hammer as well. Yeah. They were, um, they I, were, don't, I don't know who grabs the cloud or not, but that was you have the leaf, so I'm actually going to... I'm sorry, I keep cutting you off. No, no, you're fine. I'm going to break this and do a hammer, brother, um, because you actually have the leaf, which means you should do the fortress. Yes. So hopefully I get the cloud here. Uh, I don't really know which one, but... Oh, yeah. Good call. Right on. That's what I wanted, and I bro broke the rock for you. This is cool. We get to do, like, preemptive stuff. Like, I break the rock, but I'm not actually... Crossing, I like it. Yeah, and this works out really good too because I'm gonna be able to also do six nine uh, in the nice fashion. Nice, nice, nice. I didn't want to fall down that hole. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So if the Hammer Brother does go over me, which he can right now, then I get to do 6-9, which is fine. You have, have the P-Wings. Yeah, you have P-Wings. So it looks like he doesn't oh. like me. Yep. Well, <laughs> never mind. I get to do the hardest level in the game, so I'm pretty excited. No wall jump. Thank you. I might fight you. I'm small. I can do it with a wall jump, you know? Okay. So I do 6-9. You do the Fortress. I beat the world. I do 7-1. You do 7-2. I do 7-3. You cloud across. Oh, no, I have to cloud across. Yeah. <clears throat> That's right. Oh, missed it. That's Dang. okay. Oh, whoop. I forgot I was big. Uh, can I get some H shame in the chat? <laughs> H, H shame. shame. Oh, we missed both. We missed little H and big H. I didn't want to say anything. Yeah. But you definitely did. <laughs> shame. Great shame upon our families there. You're just making a list for Tom at this point. Yeah. Tompa, go easy on me, please. Yeah, I, I, I'm just so worried about the Mario 3 Discord right after we get done with this. Tompa just like, mm. Okay, legit, that level doesn't look hard, but to get this, like, perfect setup, it actually is kind of hard to do, you know? <laughs> yeah. To get the That'd 295 be... is, is really difficult. Cool, I'm big still. And again, you can see we're using those screen transitions uh, to our benefit. Oh, that's fine. Nice. Yeah, not bad. <sighs> okay. So I think we're going to have to do one battle in World 7 because I have the cloud. I don't think you have a cloud. Mm, no, because I think you'll get one for this, right? Well, I already got one from the Hammer Brother. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. I don't, yeah, you I don't haven't beaten I any have. world. No, no, I don't think I've ever cloud. So I have to cloud over four, and then you have to go the back strat, which is really cool once the lock breaks. One of the coolest route changes, I think, yeah. in Mario, where you yeah. don't actually follow the standard route. We save a cloud by doing that. You guys will see it uh, halfway through World 7. It's really interesting. Oh, isn't he so cute? He's so cute. Um, 
Yeah. Okay. So seven ones after this actually, and uh, y for anyone who doesn't know, we actually clipped through the through the wall and we just zip to the end of the level. We pretty much skipped the whole level, but you don't want to do that with the tail because every time you jump with the tail, your speed gets like all. I don't even know. It's it's really Weird. strange. Yeah. Like every time you jump, something happens with your speed, and you don't. So you don't want to clip. You need to have a certain amount of speed and position to get the clips in the first place. So I'm actually going to take intentional damage here. Please don't laugh. And uh, I'm I'm pretty good player, so. I, <laughs> I'll try and get one clip here, though. Oh. So I'll take the damage later, right, just in case. Because if I go to small Mario, I, I mean, I can do the clip, but... <laughs> it's a lot harder, yeah. significantly harder. You have to do a down clip instead of an up clip. I essentially have to do what Pooh did when he went through the question block. Yeah. Yeah, and those are Actually, very... Actually, I'm going to take random. damage here, because uh, the way this works up here is kind of like a sequence. You don't want to really slow down or anything. We're, we're good, we're good, we're good. And uh, so when we were doing this together the first time, he kept yelling at me to take damage. And I was like, no, I'll take in the boss, I'll take in the boss. And then I didn't. And um, so now we're just taking the damage early so we don't get in that situation again. Oddly enough, though, didn't you get 7-1 first try? I did first <laughs> try when we did it, so that was Whee! the irony. <clears throat> I am sorry in advance if this takes me 15 tries. <laughs> there is a portion of RNG to the clips. Like I said, you have to get right uh, subpixel values sub to get in the clips. And I am in no control of those subpixel values. The only thing that is in my control is my position and my speed. Yeah. And that just helps me. That doesn't guarantee anything. And, and if you're at home like, oh, what's subpixels? It's a pixel inside a pixel that you can't see, where, and it's where the character actually is, not where he appears to be. And that's, I know that count, that sounds stupid or like a bad explanation, but it's like the simplest way we can explain it. Yeah, so yeah. we got to go for the good luck here. Oh, my gosh! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Yeah! He's wow. so good! 7 1. He's so good! Well, if you were worried about the Discord giving you a hard time, they're all probably spamming mac and cheese right now in yeah. there. So you're good to go. Yeah. Uh, it, <laughs> hey, I just smashed my body into a wall. I, I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so you're going to want to star here. No, I'm going to want to pee with. No, I'm going to want to star <laughs> here. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to. Yeah. No, no, we got it. We got it. It's okay. Oh, I might. This might go bad, guys. I'm just warning y'all. All right, I'm going for it. Screw it. Nope. Ah. <laughs> that spawn. Yeah, so you can um, you can despawn that guy. We have to battle anyway, so that's not, that's not that big, bad. No, yeah, it wasn't exactly. a big deal. Did your best, champ. Yeah. <laughs> the Slade champ. Well, we'll no, no, we'll have to battle again because you need to go 7-4. That's all right. That probably just cost us any chance to get. No, the no, no. You're gonna do seven three after this, right? And then I'm gonna cloud across seven four. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're gonna go back. Okay, it's not that bad then. So notice how it wasn't there for me. Like, did, did you guys notice that? So it's, the whole despawning thing is really annoying. He tried it and it was there, and then I did it and it wasn't. So yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it, it, it's. Thanks spawning. It's one of those ones where I definitely like. I'm like, oh, I got it, and then. It comes, or oh, I didn't get it, and he's not there. I, I, I wish, I wish I had a good idea of when I'm going to actually get the despawn or not. But whatever, it's GDQ. Like you gotta go for it, right? Of course, you gotta go for it. I mean, we didn't go for door three, but I mean, do it. Shh, shh, shh. I don't know no what you're about. I was gonna ask about that. I, I noticed. Know, I was mad about no. that. I, uh, you know, my man Supersonic over there, part of the Bullet Bill Club. Um, <laughs> he's he's gotten it in marathons now, like. I don't know, like seven times. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that to him, you know. Very beautiful level, by the way. That was Thank very you. good. Thank you. Top tier strats all the way through. I liked it. <laughs> so you guys are gonna see something strange here. I'm actually gonna use the cloud. Normally it's like, oh, nobody wants to do seven four, right? Well, uh, Pooh's not even gonna be going near seven four, and we're gonna actually save a cloud by doing this. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna tell you exactly what we do, but you guys will see. It's pretty cool. P.S. You have a music box, so it's okay. Can I just scroll? No. Are you sure? I think I can scroll him. I'm sure. Uh, you have to, you have to, cl or no, you have a P wing. You're good. Yeah, I have a P wing. No, you can't scroll. You can't scroll. The sc so the scroll, two scroll would have been the second input because you have to down first. Picking up your. Mm -hmm. I'm picking up what you put. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm picking up what you're putting down here. <clears throat> 
This is my favorite part about the run, the way we manipulate the overworld map here. Yeah, this is uh, and something you usually are never going to see, but we're just going to kind of head all the way back through here. Um, back up to the yep. first pipe. And then we're going to hit this pipe over here. And this is something that they do in case, like, one player is really good at the game and the other player is not. Um, so that way you can advance, keep advancing here. Look at that. So by doing that, he actually didn't need to get an, an extra cloud to cloud over 7-4, which is, we get to yeah. use this somewhere else, which is really good. Yep. Shout out to Tang for that one. Yep. They're, they're clapping our brain right there. That's They're applauding our brains. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I get the scary level. But ah, but you also get the best item in the entire game. Of course, of course. The hammer suit. Sorry in advance if this doesn't work. <laughs> That's fine. The damage all there was intentional. Oh, nice jump. Oh. Oh. Keeping P-Speed in that room is so difficult. Oh. Oh, and then he gets it back. 283 is essentially the best we can do in that yeah. level. So that was really good. Yeah. That was a hot level. That was a very hot level. Okay, so... So quickly check your items. Just really quick, just press B. Check them and Nothing. get out. Okay, so you've... Yeah. I'm not flying. Um, see, now this is GDQ. Now, normally the strat here is to fly, um, but, you know, <laughs> we're not doing that. This oh, is GDQ. Huh. We got oh. to show it off. We're so. doing clips. We're doing clips. Get comfy. We could be here for a while. Oh, oh. there's one. There's one. There's one. Oh, oh, no. I wanted the second one right away. I know. There's two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I was complaining about one, you know? That was a really good one, actually. We actually saved a significant time over just doing it. Yeah, we did. That was really good. Yeah, that was okay. actually a really good one. So. <laughs> Yo, I see some Undisputed Era fans out there, you know? <laughs> we got Adam Cole and Bobby Fish over here, Roderick Strong in the back, you know? Dark man's Kyle O'Reilly. Nobody else gets that reference except me and that guy out there in the crowd, but, <laughs> you know? Oh. We're good for clips right now. Yeah, we're feeling, that's, dude, that was that's, good. That's some good clips. You know, I feel like when you come to a GDQ, you really just, you want to show you off. You go for it. You, you want to show off, and I feel like we're doing a great job of showing off at least. I like know? it, I like yeah. it. Okay, so. We got to cross the hands in this category, and we don't want to. We don't want to fight them at all. Mm -hmm. But two of us have to cross. What's the percentage for one person crossing? Twelve point five percent. So two people. So yeah. So to get zero hands, twelve point five percent for one person. Uh, I, I need a mathematician out there. What would that be for two people? Cool. Six fifty-fifty tries. Come on, guys. What do we got? One in sixty-four. One in sixty-four. Yep. What's that percentage? Can't convert. <laughs> Yo, I play, I play Mario for a living. I don't, you know, I'm not using that college degree too well. So, <laughs> so this is the hammer suit. You yeah. get to throw stuff. This is the awkward part of the run because essentially we're getting three auto scrollers in a row. Yeah, I got nothing to do for like four minutes, but you really have nothing. I to really do have for nothing four to minutes. do for four minutes. Yeah. <laughs> So the interesting thing about the hammers in this game is they don't work the same as fireballs. I could have whatever speed I want in the game and shoot fireballs. Fireballs will always have the same speed. So if I have P speed, shoot fireballs, I'll actually run fast in the fireballs. So you can't, you can't really run forward with P speed with fire, shoot, and like attack enemies. You have to like turn back and like avoid it. But hammers, they keep the momentum of your speed. So if I have P speed, throw some hammers, they're gonna go flying. So I, I think that's what makes the hammers be really interesting. Yeah. And I get to destroy fire if I duck. It's like a little shield. It's so cute. Not Bowser's fire, though. It's okay. No, no. So Only look, specific fire. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like the little fireballs, <laughs> not the big fireballs. All right. Oh, God. I got to get out of here. Okay, we made it. This I'm going to go for one last off-screen wand grab. Wall jump. Ah. Woo!
So the hands are going to decide how we... How we approach the next few, uh, well, the second half who, of World 8. Yeah, who fights Bowser, essentially. Well, no, it, you know what? Here's the thing, is that I really feel like we should give the people a full-on-out actual battle mode to decide who fights Bowser. At the very end? The very end. Sure. You know? Let's do it. Yeah, and, sure. and, and what's really fun about I that... I forget how to battle. <laughs> yeah, it was really fun about that is that there's never been a Hammer Brother kill in GDQ history. Uh, we've never killed Bowser with a Hammer Brother. Uh, no, I was supposed to. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I, I lost my Student World 8 last, or two SGDQs ago. Then I stomped Mitch's console uh, one last <laughs> SGDQ to prevent him from doing it. I was literally three <laughs> seconds away. So we've never actually seen it happen. Um, so if I win that battle mode, I'm really going to be playing spoiler to the, to the people there, preventing you all from seeing it one last time. <laughs> Assuming we get through everything, you know? So, if you want the heel turn to happen, that would be it. That's the... 1.5625% for us to get no hands. Ooh. Okay. I think we got a chance there. That's <laughs> Scent is the one who came up with that math. I, I trust him. Being our prize man, he, he knows math. If we both get no hands, that's just so silly. That would be so that's cool. Just, that's just so silly. Yeah. It's hard enough to get to 12.5. When I was doing Power Glove, I did three back and forth. Mm -hmm. And that was the most I've ever done. That was, that'd was be nine essentially straight. And I've never seen that happen again. Uh, this part right here on the tank lags the most because there's so many enemies on the screen. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to kill as many as possible, get them off the screen, not cause any extra lag or anything. Yeah, and that's actually about a two and a half second time save um, with lag frames. Yeah, I mean, if you're not if you're not clean enough, if you're not cleaning it yeah, up, yeah, if at you're all. not cleaning up, it's it's really annoying. Yeah, if you just like roll through this stage, plus it looks swag. Oh yeah. Oh, good RNG. Wee. All right. Are you gonna do chocolate milk strats? Listen to this music we got. <laughs> it's uh, not very evil like in, in that yeah. world. Yeah. I wonder why it does that. I'm glad you don't have to get that power up. That's a that's a really annoying power up to have to get. I don't even know what they they put it there, but they didn't want you to get it. Yeah, so a lot of people think this water here is lava. Because like that makes sense, right? But it's just chocolate milk. Or as I say, the blood of Bowser's enemies. <laughs> um so yeah, I'm just gonna kinda sit underneath here. Everyone yells at me for doing this. Um, because you do have a chance of dying, essentially. I would only yell if you took it to the very end. Yeah, but I, I do this, actually, I do this in my runs so I can read chat during this level. Um, this is how I do this, so. And normally you get out right here, right? Yep. There we go. Yeah, so thanks, chat. You're welcome, Poo. Yeah, we love you. Oh my God. So, uh, how many hands do you think y'all are getting put together? Uh, honestly, well, we can for, only my get three. for my experience, I, I think for sure two. Yeah, for sure. Okay. I've, we've always gotten two. We don't really. I think maybe once we got one. Yeah. I'm going for bump strats. Gotcha. I'm going for bump so I can get the fast movements. The buffer strats. Honestly, I hope you get no. I hope you get no hands because I would prefer not to play the the fast airship. I'd much rather leave that to you. Actually, no, I'd rather play that than 8-1, so. Oh! Close, guys, close. Close. Come on, Bowser, this is, this is what you get. This is what I got. I thought for a second you were getting it. I was excited. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> we're the clips yeah, today! Yeah, the clips. <laughs> It's because we're using the MFP signed cartridge. So I have I have a bunch of Mario 3 cartridges at home. I have one signed by Karu and one signed by MFP. I still want, I still need to get my Cujo cart. Yeah. And um, my Chuck Attacks cart. Um, I collect. So I collect. Oh, I collect carts like of like. <laughs> I like getting people to sign my cartridges. It's something I collect. And um, so I have each of the MF uh, each of the SMB3 like gods in my opinion sign a card for me. 
We got our backup leaf. Well. Much easier than in the world record, I can tell you that much. <laughs> so this is this is the hardest auto scroller in the game, I'd say. Yeah, and this is like in a casual playthrough, like this is the hardest level in the game, period. I don't know about you guys, playthrough. but I P winged as a kid. Yeah, I P winged. <gasps> Well, that was intentional, of course. <laughs> no. Look what you did. <laughs> I should have P-winged. Really. We should have just got, we, you know what we should have done? Just got the other Hammer Brothers suit so we could show it off. Oh, in World 6? Yeah, we should have just, like, gotten it. Yeah, we'll be fine. Well, I guess you guys will have to wait till, uh, you know, maybe an All Forts rematch to see. Uh, I have a special plan for Bowser's Castle. Anyway. <laughs> to see the Hammer Brother kill, like, who knows? Actually, you know I'll know the hardest auto scroller in the game. It was so hard they didn't put it in the actual code, and that was the lost level. Oh, lost God. Level one. That one is hard, That actually. water one? Yeah, that mm -hmm. one is really hard. The underwater one with ice. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> no! No! I jumped! Yeah, <laughs> the jump! The jump! <laughs> This, is go this World 8's going really well so far. <laughs> we shouldn't have made fun of Bowser. We shouldn't no. have. I have a star for Bowser's castle. Oh, man. If you, if you catch... I got, I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down, dude. We'll give, we'll give a wink fight. It'll be, it'll be a pro wrestling battle. <laughs> that's not fun, but <laughs> that's hard. Um, I hope I get past this hand. <laughs> Please don't judge the game on these hands. <laughs> I'm taking the conservative way through this level now. Nice. Your A-press has worked. Yeah. I like how at GDQ, if you die on something, they clap for you the next time, even if it's like the easiest thing ever. Like, <laughs> it's like it's like definitely the pity clap I just got there, you know. This level's hot. Yeah. Mm. Nice. That hill climb is a nightmare. Yeah. That's a nightmare. Yeah, it's really hard. Again, he was talking about how you, you move faster than your fireballs. So that hill climb is actually a, a super pain in the butt when you uh, have fire. Um, so Mitch handled it perfectly, like got as close as he could to that piranha. So he's not losing any speed, but still simultaneously. Don't forget to complete. Not nice. dying. You know. We got an H. <laughs> I thought I missed that P-switch for a second. Okay, so we're going to try and get one cycle here. Nice. Mm. Ooh, and the super slide under the spike. Yeah, you, you got to get the hot slider. <laughs> the hot slide. <laughs> This is what, their way of amping it up. They didn't change the boom boom. No, he's still just as easy. Just a conveyor belt. Yeah. That'll throw him off. Yeah. Best level in the game. Yeah, this level, and, and again, another shout out to Oglib out there, our, our, our great friend Oglib. Uh, for discovering these strats here in this level. Um, this this used to be the hardest auto-scroller in the game, essentially, um, because there's a ton going on, actually, and there's uh, once the wrench guys are throwing wrenches at you, it, it's crazy, but you can just sit at the front and spam fireballs, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not doing anything, really. No. no. That's it. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> What's your guys' record? What was the record? 
103 something. Oh man, we actually could have came. We actually could have done this if I didn't die those two times. Y'all have time for one quick donation. I think y'all like this one. Yes. Ten dollars from the crowd control crew. By the Woo! way, fantastic booth. And they say, hello, gamers, crowd control here. We're so happy we met the SMB3 co-op incentive. Mitch, we're sorry we can't send you a boss bass today. <laughs> Maybe next year. Shout outs to our good friends, Graham Pooh Bear, Skyville's Big John, and everyone at GDQX. Keep being awesome. Thank you, crowd control. Woo! Woo! Okay, so I definitely want to try. You know, oh, yeah, you know, no. Just the star. The oh, yeah. No, we're, we'll battle. Let's just have fun. Yeah, <laughs> we'll battle. Jump around. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to try and get over Mitch before we bat. No, <laughs> we're battling. All right, here it goes. We're battling. Here it goes. Here it we're goes. battling. Yep, here it goes. Come here, Mario. For those who've never... <laughs> it's, so... it's such a game of chicken. Oh, my gosh. No, 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 no. Yep, get it. <laughs> no, you got two. Okay, this is... Now I'm nervous. No. Oh. Oh, man. Okay. No! <laughs> you, you stomped on me right there and it got it. One more? No, 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 no. You go, you go. All right, so. All right. What Mitch is going to do right here, he actually just did in the world record he just got. Um, this is probably, you've not, probably never seen Bowser's Castle done like this, so. No. Uh, it's okay. So the game didn't really give me a chance to, chance to jump there, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a normal way. But I try to wall jump there, use the star, then get a clip, and it's a nightmare. <laughs> we should have just... We it's just, hassle. Yeah, we should have just clipped it and done slow Bowser strats. Which are fun. Now, if you guys are impressed by clips, this is the one everyone can do. <laughs> so Ooh. feel free showing that off to your friends at home and next time you're at a party and you're playing Mario 3 and realize it's... And you realize, well, I'm not really at a party right now, am I? <laughs> Oh, I gotta get that true Luigi finish. Yes! Woo! Yes, the clips! Right, and time. Yeah. I love you, man. I love playing video games with you. It's so much fun. It's a really fun time. Yeah, I love playing video games. We always do stuff together. Yeah, I love it, dude. <laughs> yeah, this is actually the second thing. Me and Mitch actually played in the fall skirmish on Friday and uh, did slightly better here than we did there. That's for sure. But uh, it's been fun. Like, I love getting a game with you, man. So it's just super Thanks, awesome. Thanks, man. It is, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. So cool. Um, we got Hope cheese. you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. I hope everyone enjoyed it. I hope you guys had a good time. Thanks, Big Joff, for keep it, keeping us sexy over here, you know what I mean? Like, the comfy. You know? <laughs> keeping it comfy. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank Thanks, you, guys, guy. so much. Awesome. Thank you all for here, uh, having me, and thank you once again to Big John, Mitch Flower Power, and Grand Pooh Bear. Wonderful 2D Mario block. Great job, y'all.